<laughs> oh, no. Yeah, dwarves are also one of my favorite factions. Well, okay, he's going for the orcs first. So, oh, against high elves. Wow. That would be interesting. Yeah. On paper, uh, just in my mind, I definitely uh, I feel like high elves have the advantage um, late game, but I think early game it's about even. So. Yeah, I think the same. Um, I think in the beginning, the high elves are a little bit uh, weak because they need a lot of resources also to get going. But um, and they have very weak units at the beginning. But in the when they are tier three with archers, they can kill everything. Yeah, absolutely. Super strong casters, super strong heroes. It's probably some of the strongest heroes in the in the mod. So. I'm expecting the... I forgot the name of the hero, but the one with a shield that can stun. Yeah, I can't remember whether it's a captain or if it's a different name. I'm going to pull up the sheet. I can at least go to the page for this stuff and check. Commander. Okay, not captain. Captain's the different commander. race. Commander. Yeah. Yeah, well... Will we see the commander or something else? But so far, he's not building a hero. Ah, no. So oh. this is one thing that uh, the high elves struggle a little bit early game with. Um, they don't get as much resources after finishing their altar. Like, every race gets um, enough resources for a hero after that. But they just get half of it. And that's the reason, I think, why, uh, the, why the hero is a little bit late now. On the other side, we see the orc is building uh, creeping goblin lodges so they will help with summoned units to creep the spots yeah, and it's going to be the war boss coming out for for dijkstra oh, and some cute scouting i don't think the spiderling is going to make it to where he wanted it to but some partial scouting at least interesting that he goes for the war boss first yeah i agree Super strong auras, and, or well, not auras, but like uh, castable buffs, but you're not going to see the payoff of that until you actually have strong units. Exactly. We see some defense here already for the high elves. A bit scared, maybe for a rush, because they are so the weak players' the forces are under attack. Yeah, really oh, early scout now. tower. Yeah, it's very early scout tower, but the creeping will really suffer by this, because he doesn't have uh, money for units yet. But it looks like he's going for archers. Yeah. Building a lumber mill now. Ah, he's going some spearmen. Hmm. Can you see already um, what specs they went? Yeah, it looks like the specs. Uh, it's probably sword and shield a uh, for fallen. So might be going for the. the uh, gosh. I forget what the name of the Swordmasters are, but the uh, Swordmasters Poet, that's what it was. Yeah, so this spec buffs uh, like the melee casters and the whole army. Yeah. And the normal units. Looks like Dijkstra maybe didn't choose one. Either he didn't choose one or his hero came out too early. That's... Because I think they're... I, I don't know exactly what makes it happen. Oh, he forgot the mace of strike. He forgot the mace, yeah. I think he didn't choose the spec yet. It's not so important for Orc in the beginning. The only thing that you can get is like the item and... Uh, yeah, he's maybe a little worried. buff on the, on the goblins as well. Yeah, which I'm interested to see if he goes for the uh, the goblin spec, but I mean, he's already teching, so if he didn't choose a spec, he's not going to be able to choose a spec for a long time. That's a really early tech. That's true. Smithy yeah, coming up see... for Fallen, too. Okay. Yeah, Smithy here, and uh, yeah, what you just mentioned is that the tech is very early. Normally, well, not normally, but you can also fast expand with the uh, orc. The goblin loses, he decides otherwise, no? Well, this is a very interesting creep. Ooh. Can't surround them here. Yeah. He's still able to this. Still all good, doesn't have to surround the kobold tunnel. He'll be able to kill him anyways. 
think I have to change my sound volume a little bit here. Oh yeah, I do gotta fix that. Let's just hide that for now, because it's not working. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't didn't opt to try and fast expand, but he did clear this Merc camp. I guess we'll see. Maybe he wants to grab the splitter. I mean, that'd be a good idea. Grab the splitter after he does clear this expo and start building. Wouldn't have uh, any issue with lumber, which he kind of does right now, at least compared attack. to Fallen. Yeah, we we'll need a lot of numbers for the upgrades and also for the buildings. But he's level 3 already, and on the other side, um, the commander just reached level 2. Quite vulnerable right now, but not in the base, because of the skull towers. Gloves of Haste, doesn't miss the item this time. And both the expansions are cleared now. A player's okay. forces are under attack. There are many goblins, man. Looks like he will go for some goblin attacks later. And his tech is finished. No hero building yet, though. Oh, just started, so he's going for the goblin boss. Seconds. He's a very good uh, in combination with the goblins because he can stun enemy units and also lower the, the armor. And uh, by this, he can do very, very strong hero focus with invisible goblins if he goes for the spec. Yeah, I'm still curious whether he hasn't chosen a spec or whether maybe he turned the specs off. I guess we're going to see soon enough. Maybe he thinks he doesn't need it. It's true. <laughs> he might not. I guess maybe we'll see. A, a little bit BM here. <laughs> Oh, well, never mind. I was going to say it looked like he forgot about a goblin, but nope. That's going to be sent to scout. So, goblin yeah, boss coming goblin. up. Oh, I wish he picked up that mace. He went past it again, didn't see it. It's kind of hidden by a tree. And what's funny, both of the players prepare their expansions at the same time, at the same way. You see that? I've never seen that before. Yeah, I've never seen the... That is hilarious, the double tower. So worried about the uh, <laughs> counter harassment. <laughs> yeah. the expansion. <laughs> and then the expansion's coming up late. Still no expansion even being started for <laughs> for Dijkstra. That's that's hilarious. Yeah, so they're both gonna be very behind gold wise. As soon as this expansion starts, Dijkstra's basically gonna be out of gold. Fallen. Stabilizing now, gold-wise, but... A player's forces are under attack. I'm also wondering why he's not power-building the expansion. Maybe he needs more lumber? No, he has a lot of lumber. Yeah, that is interesting, too. He might have... He might just not know. Maybe. I don't think he power-built any of his other buildings. I'm trying to remember if he power-built the lumber mill. I don't know. Yeah, so I would recommend always to power break the expansion because it's less time that it's vulnerable to to be cancelled. Absolutely. A player's forces are under attack. So we see the orc is getting the mid camp now. This is always a good sign that we are having creeping. Yeah, one of the harder camps to clear on this map for sure. Oh, there we go. He finally chose a spec. It's go. Uh, he's going for the spiders, so probably gonna go T three into Ragnaroks again. A player's forces are. I know he's attack. a big fan of that. Oh, it's going spiders. I have to say they got nerfed. They got nerfed quite, quite bad. Yeah, and if they do die, it is so much exp over to the enemy. Oh yeah. You really can't afford to let any of them die. Speaking of goblins, man. T2 finally started for, for Fallen. The T2 now started and one Sanctum being built. Spider Spec has to be chosen way earlier. Mana not regenerated. A player's forces ah. are under attack. 
Oh, you see nope. that? There we go. He didn't power build. He yeah. had front of the expansion, but he's going for the right. And yeah. the tower's hurt. Tower's immediately destroyed. Cancel early. That's good. Saves himself some resources. This worker's certainly going to die. And, oh. Behind this, he is throwing an expansion down. Yeah, in the middle. One goblin not caught. On his way to the rally point. So we'll see. I mean, he clearly saw him. Is he going to opt to creep this uh, turtle camp? One of the harder camps? Or is he just going to go back and protect his expansion? Is it the counter counter now? A player's like forces are under attack. Yeah, is there going to be a TP? Is there going to be a cancel? Ooh, needs to cancel soon. Oh, so much resources. Gone. Get the snotlings, oh, though. You get it? The snotlings, the surround? Okay. One archer and one spear, more importantly, are going to go down. So. Ooh. Yeah, he needs to be a ASAP here. Otherwise, all his workers will die. Yeah. Seekstra being smart. Just backs off. Meanwhile, though, the Sanctum's finished, so... T2 done. Swordmasters could absolutely start joining the fray, and... No, okay. So he's just gonna... He's gonna... A player's forces are under attack. Have to build casters first. Yeah, the combination casters and uh, normal units is very strong. A very nice power spike, uh for the High Elves, but so far he doesn't have much. Yeah, I think these casters are only going to have the regen. I don't think they have any training. Yep, no training, so just healers, but yeah, that's really all you need for now. One big thing, though, no second hero still started, so I guess we'll see. Fallen doesn't have the resources to start a hero, but I'm sure he wants to as soon as he can. Look how many goblins there are for Dijkstra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, T3 started uh, for we him see as well. The, uh, we see, we see the upgrade for the Spearman. They don't have medium armor anymore. They have heavy armor and uh, six heavy armor with the upgrade. So they are pretty, pretty good against the goblins. They can't fight. So the goblins, I think, will lose when they try to fight against each other right now. So he has to be sneaky. Yeah, even with the two uh, upgrades, these goblins have no chance of fighting the Spearman army. No chance at all. Thing is, for the goblins, they have very high DPS. But uh, they die very quickly. Goblins are healthier than Spearmen. Yeah, they have more HP, but they have medium armor, right? And that's why they die, I think quickly against the spearmen here. Oh, expansion coming back up for Dijkstra. Two towers once again, and looks like Fallen's going to be building his own expansion instead of opting to build a hero, but only brings one worker. Oh, only one worker again. It's just too slow. Yeah, maybe he doesn't know about power builds. Yeah, I don't think he does. Because many races, um, they can't power build. Yeah, especially uh, if you're used to Mike regular uh, Warcraft 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're supposed to be way less tanky. Goblins. But they have this dulling poison thing in his back. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like he trained it, though. I think their uh, their weapons glow once you actually get the training for it. Finally gonna Ooh. creep his easy camp. A player's He's going for the rock lobbers. Wow, okay. I think I've never seen the rock lobbers in the game. Like uh, catapults, yeah? Yeah, me neither. Ooh, Ooh. he builds a lot. T3 armor upgrades started for Fallen. Wow, yeah, so he's all in on the spearmen. And these, I mean, these upgrades do also 
improve your sword masters if he does go that route, but I mean with how many spearmen he has, I I don't think he's gonna even bother. But still we see just one level three hero on the side of the fallen. Yeah, and this Again, this is gonna be a big problem three. very soon. This is gonna be a big problem. As soon as this war boss gets level five, even though it's just goblins, he might actually be able to fight into the spearman army, even with the T three upgrades. Yeah. Oh, here comes the attack. Now at least. Oh, what's the item? What did he get? Oh, Sword of Battle. That's good. Especially on the commander. If he somehow gets oh, himself to level 6. Gets the, uh, I'm just going to call it Enrage. Bloodlust, whatever you want to call it. But it's super Bloodlust. He could probably clear this whole army. There's the War Boss buff. And, yep, these Spearmen. Doesn't matter how many upgrades you have, yeah, they're not going to be strong. Yeah, these yes, rock rollers are doing a good work as well. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And that is one army gone and an expo cancelled. I don't want to call it, but this looks over. Yeah. Meanwhile, the expansion, fully mining for Dijkstra has plenty of resources right now as well in terms of lumber so yeah expansion is standing okay this is the one benefit the high elf farms but they do have fortified armor which means these rock lobbers can actually just uh kill all these uh militias if they want to but yeah, doesn't even bother awesome. absolutely shreds through the shop Did you see the great value of the rock goblins here? They really, really killed all these spearmen straight away because they don't have much HP and they all clumped up. They uh, lost so much and they were really damaged. Yeah, because even with all the upgrades, they still only have about 400 health. It's, they're not, they're not really, you know, a unit you can sink uh, this much into and try to get much out of. I mean, because he has the upgrades, the Swordmaster should be doing a lot more work, but it just doesn't happen. He has one now, and unfortunately it's going to immediately go down, but it actually it actually took care of a lot more goblins than uh, And his GG is called. Yeah, tough. This was the first game. Um, he, sadly, he didn't have the Swordmaster really much. Yeah. Maybe they could have made a difference here. Yeah, I think it was all down to just expansion was too slow, wasn't wasn't power building it, and didn't have enough gold to really fund this army because he had all the upgrades. I mean, if this was sword masters instead of spearmen, this would have been a massacre. <laughs> but not the case. Maybe also dwarves. Oh, we see the empire from Fallen and the dwarves from Dijkstra. That all is right. a nice matchup, I think. Absolutely. So the dwarves in the early game very bad, very slow in the pacing, but on the other side the empires are very fast in pacing in the early game. So I'm very very curious to see how this plays out. When the dwarves can uh, get to tier 2 with their extra minerals in the gold mine, they can really get uh, some refunds on all their production and can pump units who are strong again but in the early game it takes a long time to go there and i think it's very hard against an empire to hold as dwarf in the early game let's see if um fallen is using this is abusing this or um if he's going for an expansion of macro play yeah it's gonna be very interesting to see already too Build order from Dijkstra is way different than I've seen yet. Worker guild already up. First building he makes. That's something new. So worker guild up. No farm started. So he's directly building a mining shaft. 
Yeah, so Shaft is already up. Hero's going to be out. And Hero's going to be alone for a little while. Oh, and he's going for the Master Engineer. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I wonder if he's... This makes me think he might be looking to kind of fortify his base. And maybe just play like a one base strat. We'll see though. If I don't see towers soon, probably that's not the case. In some maps you can creep with uh, Master Engineer only because he has a summon. Or you can harass and uh, put a very annoying tower in the enemy base. So let's see what he's going for now. Yeah, Grandmaster. Going to be coming out for Fallen. And it looks like he went the, uh... The player's forces are under Doctrine attack. of Discipline. I believe that is... what the Righteous Steel Sword indicates. And on the other side, still no spec yet for, for Dijkstra, so he's gonna opt to hold the spec and... Ooh, he tries to clear one of the harder camps early. Oh, yeah, this, maybe, this maybe this should have started with the here. other one. Yeah, the other one's just across the way. Oh! oh, 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 oh. To, be, to be honest, it was better to lose it than uh, to walk around low. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, might as well, once it's gotten that far. Yeah, probably, uh, probably just a mental slip too. Forgot about the uh, abolish on the, the warden, so instantly his summon dies, and yeah, there's no chance he's creeping that. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Maybe he's also used to the, to the other map, to the other version of the map, I think. Um, I think the creep spots are a little bit different. Like the, the old version, um, had a very weak creep spot at this place, so maybe he was not uh, accustomed to that. Yeah. Oh, early scouting by Fallen 2. He's going to see the hero coming back up. Probably didn't realize it was dead, necessarily, but... I guess he did. It's it's stated for everybody. Never mind. And, yep. Fallen going to be clearing his expo while he gets his nice to safety, and... Wow. Okay. So, looks like Dijkstra did choose his spec and dropped his item, and it just got destroyed by a knight. As far as I can tell, I think that's what just happened. <laughs> oh. Ooh, wow. Missed. Yeah, so that is his spec item, the plus six, uh, let's see, plus six claws. Just, uh, just destroyed. So already falling looking a lot better. Uh, very far ahead compared to the last game. That's the engineer spec, okay. Alright, level 2 on the Grandmaster does opt for the Aura instead of Shockwave, so probably won't see Shockwave until about level 5. Players forces are under attack. But Dijkstra finally able to creep. Kite shield and gloves of haste. Ooh. Really missing that plus six damage that he would have had from his spec item. It hurts. Yeah, especially on this hero. Damage items are very, very good. Yeah, we'll see if he he could opt to just go to the shop, buy uh, basically like the free plus five claws, stack them up a bit, but he is starved on gold, and he doesn't have an expansion coming up. Meanwhile, Fallen does. Ooh, still not power building. Yeah, he just doesn't know. Doesn't know about power building. We have to teach him. Yeah, his game is going to improve tremendously <laughs> if he knows. Ooh, and he could even creep this with Militia. He didn't know this as well, I think. Yeah, he's worried. He's going to send a knight in. That knight's going to die instantly here. And now... Militiamen are next. One archer gets stunned. Yeah, just gonna try not to tank some of this damage with the hero. Oh, trapped one of his militiamen there. Oh, doesn't need to lose it, but he will. And he might lose this archer if he doesn't kill this golem. No, kills it fast enough. Okay. 
But we see much life does into expansion as it seems here. Don't tell me that he's also building it just with one. Yep, it looks like he is. Ooh, Ring of Rejuve. Or Re Ring of Regeneration from from the Ogre though. Very, very good item. And I just Oh no, it just looked like he just had three in the gold mine. Oh yeah, that did look like it for a second. A player's oh, and he's going for the red, red spot here with the tower, the siege tower. Oh, this is... This is... This is, scary, yeah. and this is cute, we'll see. I don't think he's going to be able to clear this, but he should be able to kill two. Probably, yeah, he needs to kill one of these priests. It's the most important thing. And it looks like he will. Oh, he can't afford to lose any thunders, though. Oh, needs to get out. He's living on the edge here. Yeah, needs to get out, needs to get out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. This greed is paying off. He's stabilizing, but... Meanwhile, healthy, much healthier creeping going on on the other side for Fallen. And the expansion is about done, so... Yep. yep, the scouting was good earlier, but Fallen, not worried about scouting now. Ooh, Pendant of Mana. The item from the Troll Warlord. Oh yeah. That is nice. A Though on this hero not the best. Attack. Yep. Doesn't need so much. He's gonna mana. he's gonna want that for the Rune Lord. If he if he does decide to go that second. Just starting his tech to T2 now. Really just shows you how far behind he is. Tech to T3 started and already much further ahead for Fallen, so. Basically, uh, more than a full tech behind. But Fallen's still on one hero, so. Not really taking full advantage of that tech lead yet. Toby Mask. Oh my gosh, he's got all the items you would ever want for the real one. Yeah, oh. the items are very, very good for the Rune Lord for infinite nukes. Um, but we have to see if he's going to build him. Um, he has to be very careful though. Like he's super low. Creeping and his expansion is nearly finished now. Not power building. A player's I think we will have to talk attack. to these guys after the game about that. <laughs> yeah, no power building. It's that's crazy. It's like the part of the strongest aspects of some of these races. Oh, oh, it hurts. Yeah, these camps are strong. Oh, oh, there we go. Saves another one. Probably shouldn't bring this weak one in, but yeah, he'll be fine. Okay, we'll we'll eventually clear this game. Gonna have to drop something to pick up the item. Oh, we're over the Magi too. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, the game is just telling him what to uh, what to build next, hero-wise. That is a lot of mana. And Ring of Regeneration, yeah. not picked up by Fallen. Not yeah. picked up, and doesn't have a hero coming out either, so it's not going to be picked up soon. Just left on the ground. We'll see. He's selling items now, looking probably to pick it back up. I imagine this robe of the Magi is going to go, as well as the gauntlets. And maybe even the sword doesn't really need it anymore. But we'll probably hang on Ooh, to the slippers. As Nightmare just pointed out, a he's also going for attack. the... Helm of the Lawgiver, that gives a uh, plus six to all attributes, quite expensive item in the shop, when you combine it, you get the Helm of the Lawgiver, very good for a very strong hero, so I think his plan here is to get a very strong engineer, master engineer to um, maybe level six. And when he's level 6, he's super strong with a passive, or active passive, that he can choose, his level level 6 uh, spell. He can stun opponents and uh, deals a lot of uh, tons of damage. 
Yeah, I like the idea. We'll see if he sells... Oh, okay. I got scared for a moment, but he was just dropping it. Okay. He's getting another one. Two. Yeah, his... Wow. His goal is to make this guy as strong as possible here. So his base looks very fortified. His expansion is running. On the other side, Fallen's as well. Tier 3 already. What is he going for is the question. He upgraded his barracks. He's going for the knight foot of the inner circle upgrade that um, makes the knight stronger to say uh, simplistically. Yeah, okay. That should uh, carry over to his summoned knights as well. It's one big benefit of playing Grandmaster. And, oh, yep, does opt to go for a Sigmar barracks upgrade on one of them. So, I imagine he's probably going to go for War Priests. Ooh, double and Engineer Guild. Yeah, for... Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dijkstra. I think... I think he's going for Gyres. He played it recently. And... Yeah. Double Engineer Guild. I have to imagine his plan now is to transition to Mash Air and get Gyros. Oh, another Sobe Mask. He sold you one earlier, but he he's gifted one. Lord. Yeah. Does he pass over the pendant as well? Wow, so he sells one, gifted another Sobe Mask. Again. That's a very passive game so far. Yeah. I don't know if he plays stacked yet. So it's a mass rifle, man. 1-1 one, one upgrade so far. Level 5. Faster on the Engineer than we have it on the Grandmaster. I mean, just Fallen's not creeping right now. He's just... Taking his time. Second hero comes up now, too. It's the Captain. Yeah, he's he's got no units. And... All of a sudden, he's kind of running out of time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Fallen has a lot of... A lot of gold, but no lumber. That's a little bit of a problem. Maybe he's um, focused on the macro right now to fix a this player's problem. Forces are but in under the meantime, attack. his creeping is suffering a lot here. Uh, meanwhile, Dijkstra is solo creeping the rune lord. Very nicely done. Yet to get more XP for him. So the XP uh, is not cut down a little bit. Gifted a parry up to vitality for his troubles too. So the rune lord no longer in danger of getting focused down. If he gets uh, just a little bit of armor or something else, this rune lord should be just fine. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes over one of the helms. I guess we'll see. Probably be a good idea, though. Or at least pass the robe of the magi over. Yeah. Maybe he's sticking to this um, because he took the the damage spell. I don't know the, the name of it. Oh, that that's be, true. Um, could be that the on-hit um, effect uh, eats so much mana that he decides to stay with it. Yeah. Funny yeah. here, the little engineer's coming. <laughs> <laughs> engineer's not going to be doing anything for now. Not going to be repairing anything, but... I guess we'll see. A player's forces are under attack. He goes up. A very funny model. With a lot of junk in the back side. And Fallen, finally back to Creeping. This Creeping with the Grandmaster here, so the levels for the Captain are going to be very, very slow. Probably won't even get level 2 off of this camp. Ooh, what was the item for Dijkstra? Oh, Cadgar's Gem of Health, you got to be kidding me. What the? And all of a sudden this Rune Lord has more health than a uh, plus 12 stats level 5 hero. Yeah, there's 1,100 HP on a normally quite um, fragile hero. Oh, Captain Sobe Will Mask we see an engagement? Well. First fight? Will he protect his expo? He only has one. He did clear out the other uh, potential the expo spots, seen. but didn't build any, so... Towers are going to get immediately destroyed. 
These thunders have two upgrades. And these workers will be dying in short order. But the knights are here. And the great... Oh, perfect timing. The general comes up. Great swords join the fray as well. And, there are and they have knights, full yeah, they have upgrades. Yeah, all of a sudden this is very scary. These thunders are going to get shredded and... Yeah, he TPs out. So that's the one benefit. The knights are fully upgraded. And there's a lot of them. And these great swords share those upgrades as well. So, yeah, this army... It may not look like it, but this, this general of the empire is basically a third hero. So... But now he saw his, his army. He knows what units he's going. He's going for knights. And that's why, look what he's pumping in his engineer's build. Ah, the gyros. They're on the way. He just wanted to make sure before he started building them. But now, production begins. But the knights are fast. He sent a few to his he's base. afraid of a counterattack. Yeah, we'll see how much he commits to this. I mean, these knights are... Pretty healthy. They could do some damage before he has to leave, but he might be a little too scared to lose them. One archer joined as well. But, yeah. Just gonna opt to bring him back. Checks the expo just to make sure. Doesn't check the uh, close expo, so unaware that Dijkstra does have an expansion currently mining. Fallen is also on the high upkeep already. 88 supply. Will he go to the hundreds? Is the question with the resources he has is um, quite possible. Um, also, what Dijkstra should maybe do a is to uh, pay a little bit of gold to get heavy armor for the weapon. Yeah. So they won't be shredded by the knights. Absolutely, I agree. I think this whole this whole thunder army needs to just be upgraded straight to. Uh, Straight to their heavy armor versions. It would cost a lot of gold, but I mean, he's not short of gold by any means. Ooh, and what's that? We have great swords here. To be honest, I don't know this unit. Super, super they strong have a lot unit. Of damage. Yeah, insane damage. Great armor. I mean, they're just <laughs> they're just good. I don't know what to say about it. They're just good. That is a lot of armor damage, but nothing against air. Ooh, and here we go. So, expansion being attacked by Fallen. But meanwhile, the uh, workers at home being harassed, the burning oil on the, uh, yeah, on the worker line. And they're all gone. So, gold in the main is going to be uh, completely stopped. But the expansion is destroyed. So, all in all, it's kind of evening out. Yeah, very even game so far. Ooh, but here's He's losing one gyro. Yep, one gyro goes down. Here's the problem. The towers are still up. Gotta make sure you micro well. Expensive. We'll at least hit the worker, but meanwhile the main base under attack. And we have a proper fight. Ooh, yep. The main base, the knights. Can they really go into the back line? Not yet. So they eat a lot of damage of these shredded weapons here. Oh, the knights are just getting shredded. Really. Really strong. Level also makes a big difference. Level 6 for the Master Engineer. So he can have this very powerful attack now. With every attack he can stun upon it. By chance. Yep, and uh, he activated it and almost three shots the uh, Grandmaster. Instantly has to TP. With all these items, wow. this guy is a beast. Wow, wow, wow. Just like that. Falling in with nothing. I'm I'm so cu I'm curious. It, he had the General of the Empire uh, who has buffs, has like a uh, AoE heal. I'm, I'm curious whether he used it, whether maybe the General just died early. I don't know. It is a little bit tough to micro, but yeah, those knights just got annihilated. Yeah, maybe he was not expecting that much damage. Yeah. With this dwarven army here. Yeah, he probably thought, well, well I have I full attack. upgrades. There's yeah. no way I'm going to have to worry about it. But yeah, the damage upgrade, uh, well, the damage boost, I should say, from the from the rune, from the rune lord. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, GG. And falling gives up. It's a GG. Yeah. Wow. The 
gyro damage was also too much in the um, resource department here. Yeah, the worker line disrupted by the gyros. The fight in the enemy main base didn't go to plan. And yeah, just the levels just not even close to there for, for the second hero.